Would you like to do something to make you and your dog really happy? Well, you can do just that by hand making a new collar for your best friend and companion. In this program, we will show you how easy it is to make a really nice dog collar. To begin this program, I would like to point out the uh, supplies that uh, you will need to do a top quality dog collar. First of all, we need some leather strips. In this case, it's uh, I'm using eight to nine ounce vegetable tanned leather. You can do it with a strip that you can buy already cut to uh, the width uh, and in various lengths. And also I've got uh, another piece for a smaller dog, which is narrower and a little bit thinner. Uh, also we have here a heavy duty buckle for a large dog with a large solid uh, steel D. And for a smaller dog we have a a center bar buckle with a roller on it with a smaller D and of course we have uh, some rivets to uh, put it together and also here I have a, uh, a leather keeper that I made out of a smaller piece of uh, vegetable tanned leather. Making a dog collar is much like making a belt. The first thing we need to do is determine the size and uh, with a soft uh, measuring tape you can measure around the uh, neck of your dog, or you can use the old collar and use that to determine the length of the, uh, or should I say, the size of the dog collar. We will begin by uh, preparing the buckle end of our dog collar, uh, but before we do that, we want to make sure that our piece of leather is long enough. For instance, if we want to make a 22 inch uh, size for the neck, then we'll have to add eight inches and we'll have to have a piece of leather that's about 30 inches long. First thing to do is uh, prepare the end of your leather and I've done that with a strap end punch and put a nice point on there. Now I will take a 1 8 inch uh, drive punch and this will be for rivets and we will put uh, three of those on here and we'll make them about uh, one and a quarter inches apart. So I will make a mark here and another one, one and a quarter. Now, if we were making a belt, and basically that's what a dog collar is, is a belt with an extra ring or two on it, uh, Instead of two holes, we'll make three holes. And the next thing then we'll do is we'll use a oblong punch and we'll punch a hole for the tongue of the buckle. And then we will punch three more holes, starting one about a half inch from the buckle slot, and two more one and a quarter inches apart. Another way you can do it is to fold your leather back line up the first hole and with a pen mark the next two. Then you can punch those from the back side. It doesn't really matter. The next thing we need to do is to thin the leather from the point where the slot ends, as you can see, down to the end of the piece. 
This is best done with the skyring knife. We will sky this down to about one half of the thickness of the leather. To prepare for the proper length now, we will lay the buckle at the area in the slot where it would normally go and we will measure from where the tongue crosses the roller bar and we'll come out here 22 inches and with our all of some kind we will mark the 22 inches. From the mark that we made at the uh, 22 inches which will be the size of our dog collar we're now going to mark three quarters of an inch once and twice. Now this will become our center hole, then we'll also make two holes three quarters of an inch apart on the other side of the center hole. Now at the end, from the end hole down, we'll go about four and a half inches and we'll make a mark there and that will be the tip of our dog collar. And now we have uh, cut our tip on. It's a matter of punching the holes for the, for the buckle tongue. Now in this case, I'm punching my holes with a one quarter inch punch. Now we will use the uh, edge beveler and we will bevel the edges. And we will bevel both the top and the back side so that we have a rounded edge all the way around. Now if you're going to tool the dog collar, now is the time to do it. As you can see, I have tooled and, uh, and uh, put an antique finish on my dog collar and I am now ready for assembly. The assembly is quite easy. I will first take the large D-ring and I'll slip it in position as you see me here. I'll take a leather keeper that I've made and I will put this down there as well. Now I will take my buckle and put the, the tongue through the slot as you can see me here. Then I can fold the end back and now I can start my riveting. I'll start with the first hole by the, uh, by the buckle here. To secure the buckle, I will take the, the post of a rivet and I'll push it from the bottom up through the first hole, as you can see me doing here. And then I will take my cap, put the cap in place, and with a rivet setter, I will securely set this rivet. Now I will move the keeper up in the position, as you can see. And now I will take another rivet. I will move, push the post up through the, the hole. Put a cap on. And with the rivet setter, securely set this rivet. Uh, someone has asked, why do we not use snaps? Well, chances are that you're not going to change the buckle, so there's really no reason to use a snap. And also, especially with a large dog collar for a large dog, chances are it would not be secure enough and the dog may 
pull the snaps apart. And there we have a completed really nice dog collar. I have here now a three quarter inch wide dog collar made up and uh, this is for a much smaller dog so we will use in this case a smaller d-ring of course one that fits and we will slide our d-ring in place. Now the buckle we will need to go up through the first bar and then over the top and bring our tongue up through the slot. Now we fold the tab back and we will now secure it with the rivet. Now in this case we'll bring in a small anvil because uh, with this buckle, it's hard to do it on a flat surface, so we'll do it on this little anvil. We will now take the rivet setter and set the first rivet. And now we will set the second rivet. Remember, we do not have a keeper here. The keeper is built into the buckle. And now we will bring the, the D-ring into position and set the last rivet. And now we have a real nice dog collar for a smaller dog. Mm -hmm.